Well, hey, handy people, Dan here. Hey, um, just doing tons of work on the laser and I got a big, long video coming, but I thought I'd do a quick, brief one and just show you something I just did on this guy right here. Uh, you know how to rebuild your headlight wipers? Well, let me show you, come on. Saf and the laser are both in the garage tonight. Uh, it's snowed here pretty good today. And um, so I brought the, the Saf in because that's my daily driver. And I'm working some long hours of work. So anyways, uh, long story. You know, some people don't like headlight wipers. Other people do. I happen to be in the second group. I like them. And uh, I had to rebuild these. And they are very easy to rebuild once you know some of the little tricks so let me show you so some of the tools I use are uh, I've got a pick tool just a small hooked pick and I'll show you what that's for a couple of flat blade screwdrivers a small tap hammer I don't need that um, and then this is a, a quarter inch drive with a number eight on it that's for removing the nut that the wipers are on and I'll show you some of the tricks on how to take those off without uh, without breaking them um, many of these headlight these headlight wiper assemblies they break here on the um, where it mounts to the post and sometimes they get broken here as you can see and so I'm going to take this one apart and replace this cover um, it's pretty simple there's two tabs this one doesn't have the second one because oh look it's kind of brittle and uh, yeah and then then there's this holding clip this holding clip I usually just take a screwdriver and hold it with my thumb and just tap it towards where it mounts towards that mounting screw now the nice thing is this piece came out. This is a little clip that holds it into the barrel of the, the thing. It came out. Now, sometimes they get broken. As you can see, this one's only got one of the little hooks. So I'll put this as my broken pile of stuff. This is not all headlight wipers. These are from coil, coil uh, clips. But then this will pretty much pop out as long as you get it past that little clip there there's one on either side usually but like I say this one was really brittle maybe it was a car from with southern exposure or whatnot now the little nozzle is broken off here okay so normally I would replace that except I've run out of this this angle uh, assembly but to replace it, you gotta reach in that little pocket right there, so, and then kinda of push it with your thumb, cause that little plastic thing is a detent that goes in that hole, okay? Then the next piece is you put another one back on, and I don't have an unbroken one. However, this one will still hold, because it's got both sides and the clip in it, this would still hold a, um, a wiper blade, so I'm gonna reuse that for this demonstration. Then you slide it back in and make sure you snap both ends in because bolts need to snap in both at this end and up here. Then we're going to take our retainer clip that we had previously just pulled out and we're going to push it in. And uh, usually that's not difficult to do unless doing something wrong oh there we go and then it just goes in until it clips and it clips those two little prongs land up here so there you would have a rebuilt headlight wiper now this one again doesn't have the washer hose but uh, you know I, I disable those anyways um, 
and I, I don't use the wipers, I use them only as for looks. So I know some people will frown on that. Um, I happen to like the way they look. I think they look cool. Problem is they don't always uh, operate properly. However, I'm gonna show you. Here's two examples of nice covering, both ends. Um, and this is intact. Problem is, it's the opposite side. So you could run this in here. We could do that. And I think I might just do that. It's not the greatest, but it will work. Tap that little clip out, shake it out. There's the clip. Now I gotta get these two guys apart. Like I say, two screwdrivers works better than one. And it, it's a little tricky getting that cover off, but it's very doable. You just kind of push with your finger up on where, the, uh, where this piece is. Okay, set that down. I'm gonna take my little tool and show you this again. What I find is helpful is if you push this all the way toward the knuckle, or the opposite way, whichever will open up. I guess the opposite way, I'm pushing it out now. Wow, this one's jammed in tight. This one might be tricky getting out. Oh, there it goes. I, got, I, I was able to create a little bit of a gap to put my pick in. And then you gotta be real gentle because these get, these get brittle. Nice thing about this pick tool, it's a two-sided pick tool. So one side might not fit right, but the other side will. And I'm just gently trying to catch the edge of this thing. I'm gonna grab another pick. Give this a try with this one. Oh yeah, that should work better. It's a little bit thinner. Okay, that's not the one I want to get off though. The one I want to get off is this one. And there. Got it. Yeah. So then this arm is pretty much, I mean, Without the piece that's on here that's broken off, it's not good for much. But you can, if you put this part, this is the cover. If you push it this way and pull that way, pull it apart, you can get just a little cover off and it's still intact and you can, those get broken too. So all these little bits uh, are worth something. This is all broken. Now, let's see, let's see. We're gonna pop this guy apart. Which one is it? Yeah, this is the one. I try to keep spares, because I'm running currently five of these P80 wagons. Oh, it helps to start with taking this clip out. Our little, our little upper beam clip, because that's holding things in. And then, there we go. Now, use our handy dandy little 
device and pull that out. I'm gonna save that. I'm not calling it good, but I'm calling it okay. And then we put that on. And then we put this on. Let's see how this works. This is something I've never done before. I'm using the wrong side of uh, one of these nozzles. But it seems to go in just fine. And let's see if we can get our little clip on. Oh, this one's broken. Both the little, these little barbs are broken on this one. I don't know if you can see that or not, I hope so. So those little barbs are what help lock this into place. And there you have it. So now I've got two, or another good wiper arm. Granted the hose is on the wrong spot, but you know, this one happens to be the passenger side, so the hose will be low instead of high, but that's okay. That's okay. Well, hopefully that's helpful. Um, let me take you over and I'll show you how to remove one of these. Okay, to remove this, I like to take a large screwdriver, you know, something like this size, flat blade, and I reach down and I gently put the, the, the barrel of the screwdriver on the on the um, um, headlight and you just kind of pop that cover open okay that's step one step two is to take your eight millimeter and undo the screw now sometimes these stick pretty good so but most time I can get them off at the yard and whatnot it's a great way to practice is at the yard but if you gather these up, you can even use broken ones for some of the parts. So it's a little tiny screw, and it's the only screw of that type on a P80 that I'm aware of. There's only two of them, and they're, they're on these. Okay. Then you come back to this tool, your big prying screwdriver. And again, you're going to go on the back side of this. Now bear in mind, this is a pot metal housing, but you're going to... You're gonna put pressure on it and tip it. Now, most of the time, they don't come off that easy. I've had this one off and on a couple of times recently. Um, but most of the time, they don't come off quite as easy. And that's how you get them off. And then, you know, carefully pull this off because that's that nozzle that breaks. And you can even see this one's got some cracks in it. So, I mean, these are aged parts. And yeah, you could probably buy new. I'm sure you can, or maybe you can't, I don't know. Um, but I like them, and I think they're cool. And then to put it back on, I just push on them with the screwdriver, put the nut back on it. Orient the, I'm trying to cover over a chip that's in this headlight. And don't worry, that's, I've got a lens for it, I just, haven't got to that part yet. But then I tighten it down pretty good and snug so it's, see right now it's still turning on the, on the shaft. And it's still moving on the shaft. It's getting better. There, and you just push that down and there you have it. So that's a simple way of uh, repairing and rebuilding your headlight wipers. Thanks for watching.